Well, I pressed the wrong button. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the drive home show. I was trying to turn the bass up so you could have more bass on your stereo systems. But I pressed the wrong button. Apparently, apparently, I pressed the wrong button. So, there, okay, you guys. Um, welcome to the drive home show. It's we're back. We're back on the road, back out of the air, back to the studio, back recording the drive home show, back and up the car into the driveway, back, stop, back, set, backhand, backbone, backboard, and all those things. It's 85 degrees on the thermometer it's Tuesday and it's July 16th well it's kind of a weird weather day folks out there in listening land welcome thank you for listening by the way I listened to a lot of drive home shows today actually just listened to two I listened to May 1st and a May 1st drive home show guy I think it was me he was telling us about the show from Dick Clarksville. Take the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. It's 409, by the way. What? Yeah, if she's real fine, my 409. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, 409. That's the one we want to know. That's the one we want to have, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the drive home guy show this morning guy from May 1st was telling us all about the Dick Clarksville shows. The challengers and winning lines. So, uh, guess what I did today? I decided to watch a few episodes of Winning Lines. But here, here's here's what happened. Okay, I worked from home yesterday. There's no drive home show yesterday because we didn't drive home. Not from work because we worked from home. Um, so I goes into work today and I get I gets into work. And I, I don't have my headphones. I don't have my headphones. I can't plug my headphones into the, my computer and listen to things. And I was like, oh, and ordinarily I would have just uh, played this, played the stuff anyway. Just kind of played it low. But we got these two guys in the two cubes next to us. All of a sudden, we got neighbors. So I wanted to not blast my stuff for them to hear. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. And so I was kind of self-conscious about playing stuff. And uh, so then I just went the whole day without listening to stuff. But then, this falls under the category of stuff that happened at work. This does not fall under the category of work. But anyway, um, this guy used one of the workrooms, and he's sitting there blabbing in there on a conference call, and he's like yelling. Like, why do people yell on a conference call when they use a room? Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting, hang on. Let me merge. First, let me merge, you guys, and then I'll talk. Okay, we're merged. Um, why do people get into workrooms where it's quiet, and then they yell? Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us on the conference call. Uh, who's all, who's all on? Joe, are you on? Um, okay. Uh, Bill? Okay, um, thing I wanted to talk to you guys about on the conference call today is we're, we got some girders, we got some cranes and girders and stuff over the, over this bridge. Over the 94 bridge. Yeah. Uh, why do people do that? I don't get it. And so he was like yelling and annoying the crap out of me. So first I got up and I walked around the pond. Not the pond, but the walking path at work. And let me tell you something. It was so hot. It was so muggy. It's, it's crazy hot and crazy muggy. Let me just tell you something, you guys. Because I listened to a drive home show from January 4th and it's funny when you're listening like several months ahead you know several months in the future okay we got raindrops now 
that's gonna that's gonna really mess up our run. But anyway, it's really funny to hear when you're like farther away from the date. Sorry, we have to contend with these raindrops clinking off my winds window sill. Um, so I'm walking around the walking path and it's like so hot and it's so muggy. And so I, so I pull out my phone and I says to Siri, I says, Siri, she says, what? Well, what would you say? She said, I said, what is the dew point, Siri? And she said, the dew point is 69 degrees. And then she shows that it's 80, it's 80 degrees but the dew point is 69 degrees. And so I'm like, okay, well that's, it's muggy. That is very muggy, but it's not as muggy as it was yesterday. So I'm walking around the path and I'm just sweating. I'm just low exertion, but just so, so sticky. I just, sweat and dripping with sweat from just walking outside so okay so fast forward to when I leave and I says um, oh it doesn't feel as muggy right now and it doesn't feel as hot either so what do I do this is when I'm walking out to my car just seconds ago just minutes ago and I say hey Shuri and she says what what what's you say and I said, what is the dew point? And she said, the dew point is 71 degrees. And then I look and it's 82 degrees. So it's hotter and more muggy than it was earlier, but yet and still, I thought it's not as muggy and it's not as hot, but it was. It was hotter and muggier. So go figure that one out. Now it's dropped down to 81 degrees and maybe this rain is cooling it off a little bit. I don't know. I see it in the horizon here. Um, it's, it's fairly clear. Right above me are super dark clouds. I'm wearing my sunshades because I just put them on. And when I try to take them off, it's just still too bright. It's, it's a bright adjustment for my eyes. So I'm just keeping them on. I'm just, I'm just, just keeping them on. It's easier that way. But, um, Right above me are really super dark clouds, but ahead in the north, it looks like the sky is pretty light. So this could be a passing shower. I still could run outside or I could go to the gym and run. I haven't decided yet. I have not decided yet. It's 416, by the way. Um, let's, well, what are, what, are the, what are the topics we even talk about? It's funny how like, I listened to a show from May first, and I listened to a show at work. I listened to a show from Ju January fourth. Uh, the two difference, the things, the, the, the differences were just astounding. It was like in the January one, you're talking about Christmas and football and Christmas light walks. And I did, I did run. I did run in January. But then in May, you're not talking about those things. You're talking about the Twins. You're talking about winning lines, game shows. You're talking about challengers, game shows, and all those things like that. So it's funny. Um, I have not run a whole much a lot because of issues with number one my hip or my back I can't tell you what it's what it is it seems to start off with the joints being achy while I run but then there was an actual like, tweak in my back and so I tried to rest um, then we had a nice day last week, so I thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run, take advantage of the nice day, and I felt like I ran okay for two miles, but then the third mile, all of the pains and tweaks and aches and things 
seemed to come back. Then we went and played the kickball. Okay, we're, we got like all these. We got set, we got the weekend, we got Monday, we got all these things we can tell you about. So I'm just gonna tell them as they come up. As right now we're coming up to Vine Springs Montaminae Curve at 418. It's a little bit behind. Here's the kaplump. All right, got, got all the kaplumps out of the way. Um, Saturday was a church picnic. We went, we played kickball, right? It was kind of muggy, it was kind of hot. Um, I felt like I can't really, I can't really exert myself to play kickball, but you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to refuse to play. That's not, that's one thing I'm not going to do. But I felt like I'm just kind of, I don't know, what's the word, old? arthritis -y? I don't know. I, I just felt like I can't really move like I need to. And I only got up to bat one. Is it is it bat in kickball or is it I got up to kick? Is it, which, what, do you, what do you call it? Who's up to kick? Who's up to bat? I only got up once and I'm not going to try to kick it over everyone's head with sandals on. I, excuse me, hello. I had sandals on and we had uh, Tommy was up right before me. He kicked a triple, and there was um, I don't know how many outs. Not not three. There wasn't three. So I kicked a little kind of squibber down towards third base. And I knew I could. I knew I could run that out, and I knew Tommy could score on it. So that's what I did. So I got an RBI single. I think there were two outs because the next person got out and that was the end of the inning. But um, so, but I did kind of run hard to try to get to first. I did kind of run for a couple of plays. It's just your instincts just kind of take over. But I, it, actually, it felt like I broke out of the cauldron, cauldron or conundrums or whatever. It kind of felt like I just kind of snapped out of it. It felt kind of good. So that, that was Saturday. Um, but I didn't run. I didn't go running over the weekend. I didn't run yesterday because it was very, very muggy. And it was raining. It rained so much yesterday that it flooded. It flooded the parking lot in the Cub Foods. I went to Cub Foods to get the Monday chicken dinner. Winter, winter chicken dinner, Monday, Monday. And uh, the parking lot was at about, the water was up to the bottom of the cars. People were walking through it. They're like, oh, it's not that deep. And they start walking into it. And all of a sudden, they're sinking into their past their ankles. And they're like, oh, whoa. So there was a lot. There was a lot of water. Flash flooding and such. Um, the rain seemed to stop. Still dark clouds. Still dark clouds amongst us. But, um. By the way, we're gonna go get a, a car payment paid at the bank. So we're going to the bank today. And what else? I don't know. Well, let me let me update you on the twins. I'm I'm just gonna be kind of brief about it. Uh, the twins after the All Star break. Remember, we just had the All Star break, so we're not we didn't have a whole lot of baseball last week. So kind of ready for baseball to resume again. Baseball did resume on Friday for the twin against Cleveland in Cleveland. So now Cleveland, if you if you're not from this time period, if you're listening from in, in 2027 or something, which is entirely possible, so I'm not gonna out rule rule it out. I'm not gonna rule it out. If you're listening and you don't know the twin scenario, the twins are in first place. In the beginning, around June, they were ahead in first place by 11 and a half games. 
over Cleveland. But then Cleveland kind of went on a roll. Twins in the month of June kind of played about 500 ball. They played about 16 wins and 14 losses. You know, just just a little bit over 500. And Cleveland kind of went on a hot streak. So Cleveland cut the lead from 11 and a half games down to six and a half games. And uh, Steve told me, Steve and I text each other about the Twins games and said, and he says he wants Cleveland to lose because stupid jerks on the radio say that Cleveland was going to cut the lead down to four games by the All-Star break. But, well, they pretty close. They pretty near did it. They cut it down to six and a half. It's not four. But they cut it down to six and a half. And so, coming out of that All-Star break, we're playing Cleveland. So I'm thinking we need to win. We need to reestablish our dominance in the Central Division. We need to come out and we need to at least win this series two to two out of three. And we won the first game. It was a nail biter. I think it was uh, Kyle Gibson against. Their pitcher was. It was, it was uh, just Jake Bauer. Jake. Jake Bowers? What's his name? The one that sounds like Maurer, but it's not Maurer. And we got a few runs off of that guy, and then I think um, I think maybe Cleveland came back and tied it. But then we won. So that was a that was a good it was a crucial win. It was a critical win. Um, then the second game, it was Jake Odorizzi against their pitcher. I forgot who their pitcher was. We ended up winning that game. And Odorizzi got the win. He's 11 and 4. Then the third game of the series, the, the game we want to win so we can sweep, we got our ace, right? And I use air quotes on that. Our ace, Jose Barrios, and they have their ace, air quotes. Justin Bieber, and we go, we, we get out, we give up a run, like, right away, and I'm like, well, at least we don't have to worry about Barrios blowing the lead this time, and then uh, we got down three to nothing, so I said, well, that's it, that's game, we're gonna lose, but we did, we fought back, and we tied that game three to three, and we had chances to win it, but we didn't. So, I mean, okay, yeah, we did good. We, we won two out of three like we wanted to do, but we had a chance to sweep, and we didn't do it. And then we had a day off. That was yesterday, and now we're playing the Chicago Mets. We're playing the Chicago Mets today um, here. Hopefully it won't get rained out. And, um... Yeah, there's a person in a Nissan Altima whose uh, gas, head's gasket's going to blow before they get to 100,000 miles. They just had decided they had to pass me, which they're an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> Freeway time is 35 W sign, 6 minutes, 16 minutes, 427 right now. What happened to the time? How, how, how could, we felt like we were going really good. We didn't have any slowdowns. But we're still not going to make 4.30. So I updated you on the Twins tonight. The pitchers are going to be... I don't know who the Mets pitcher is. Um, Twins pitcher is Michael Pineda. I know the pitcher for the Mets is not Noah Syndergaard. And it's not Jacob DeGrom. I know it's those are like their two best pitchers, and it's neither one of those. It's a guy, it's like Mats, or Bats, or Cats, something like that. Okay, we're coming up to, we gotta slow down here. I'm watching that Nissan Ultima that passed me. He went to Highway 10. We got, let's, we're kind of slow. We're going to slow way back before Snelling. So, yeah, it's probably a six-minute 
six minute commute. Did we see any movies? I'm trying to think of what else we could have done all this weekend. We, we went to the picnic Saturday. I thought I would just have so many things to talk about. So many things to talk about. Okay, we could talk about the winning lines. I guess I I explained this. If you want a really thorough explanation of this game, listen to the May 1st drive home show. But I can explain it again. Um, it's very, very, very obvious they're trying to copy who wants to be a millionaire and uh, this is what this is what my pet peeve okay this is really my pet peeve all of the the music the lights you know like Dramatic lighting, dramatic music, serious, like it's serious. That's what Who Wants to Be a Millionaire did. And then all these copycat shows did the same thing. The Weakest Link with the spotlights. <laughs> um, green. Same thing with the spotlights coming up from behind. <laughs> um, one versus a hundred. Even deal or no deal, but at least deal or no deal had more colors and stuff. But and it just it just dragged everything out. That's what I don't like. That's the pet peeve. It's like they drag everything out. Okay. Here's the question. Which one of these teams is in the is not in the American League? Which one of these teams is not in the American League? Is it Bunk? Baltimore Orioles. Bank! Boston Red Sox. Bank! Milwaukee Brewers. Bank! Toronto Blue Jays. Well, let me see here. Uh, I know, I know this one. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty good baseball fan. I, I watch baseball. I remember, as a kid, my, um, growing up, as a kid, my dad, he would wa watch this game of baseball quite frequently, and he was a Red Sox fan, and I know, I know that the Red Sox are in the American League. So I know it's not the I know it's not the Red Sox. Okay, so I can eliminate that one. So it's one of the other three. It's one of the other three. Now I know the Red Sox played the Baltimore Orioles a lot. Hey, we're coming up to 35 W. It's 4:32. I don't know. What was our time? What was it? What was our goal time? I think we made it because I think we got here pretty quick. It was a six minutes. But we got here pretty quick. We just crossed over 35W. Yeah, I mean, I'm, the, my point is they draw out the con pick and stupid questions so long. 
and they will they will take an hour and they'll ask like 10 questions whereas like the the challengers show that Dick Clark did I'm gonna get off on long like we're going to the bank and I see some brake lights coming on why why chance it why risk it it looks like it's a mess up there so I think I made the right decision trying to tell us now we got a uh, we've got a traffic light here now you kids should not be crossing you don't have a crosswalk you didn't have a you didn't have a you know walk sign you didn't have a walk sign and you're crossing there's a car that's on my butt. I'm about to get out and smack them. I'm about to get out and smack them. But okay. It's 81 degrees now. It's inside the car. It feels nice and cool. I don't know what it feels like outside. If I see some blue sky, I might try to run outside. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll just have to make a decision. Um, first, I guess we'll go to the, to the bank. I still need probably to go to the store and get uh, something for dinner. I don't have any ideas. I have no idea. This jerk car is just speeding like crazy. Oh, here comes a cop. I oh, that's an ambulance. I wish it was a cop to pull him over. That's what I wish it was. That's what I wish it was. What was I saying? Oh, the show, The Challenger, is the other Dick Clark show that I mentioned in the May 1st show. I said they opened the they opened the show up with a speed round, a 60 second speed round, and that's right there. That's more questions than the the other show. Who wants to be a millionaire? That's more questions than they, they ask in the whole entire show. And that's in the first 60 seconds of the Challenger. So, you know. But anyway, we're just jumping around from topic to topic and all that. So, do, do, do. to the store first or should I just go to let's just go to the bank let's just get the car payment taken care of I then we'll go to, to decide what to do with the grocery store and I have no idea I'm, I'm, every day this is a struggle and here's the problem here's the problem because every day it's a struggle you do it again every day. Plunkets. Uh, every time I see a Plunkett truck, I'm thinking, is that Jeremiah Riopel? But I think he's high up in the company now where he doesn't go out to the homes. I think he goes and speaks before conventions and such. Um... No, because I can't decide what to get for dinner. And it's just like, ah, uh, I just, let me just, and I just think of one thing. And that's, I just get one thing. And it, that's it. And then the, the next day, I got to do it all over again. And then I can't think of anything for the next day. So then I get one thing and then it just keeps repeating. If you were to get like several things, and then you wouldn't have to keep going every day and trying to think about deciding what you want to get that day. But the problem is, it's hard. It's it's, it's hard just to think of one thing. Why? How? How are you going to think of two things or even 
more than two things. How? How are you going to do that? And then you get like, say, you get a Polska kielbasa, right? And then it's in the fridge and you don't even remember that you have it. And it sits in there for ages. So, yeah, that's the problem. But that is the problem. so long we waited so long we waited so long I waited so long okay I can't get spaghetti and meatballs I can't get that because Paula doesn't like the marinara sauce and it also some it gives Paulita heartburn so spaghetti and meatballs that's usually a, a favorite that's out. I can't get lasagna. Paulita, Paula doesn't like the marinara sauce. And it usually gives Paulita indigestion so she doesn't have it anyway. So that's out. That's out the window. I can't get fish sticks because Paula doesn't like fish sticks and neither does Paulita. So the fish sticks are out. I can't get, you know, so all these different things, all these choices are gone. So what do I get? do I get? I'm not a cook. I'm not good at cooking. Okay, we're here at the credit union. I always call it a bank, but it's not a bank. It's a credit union. It's not a bank. It's not a bank. It's a credit union. There's no cars waiting. No line. So this should be quick. Over, quick, and easy. Got the slipper already filled on. Just have to oops, get the slip out of my bag. I'll take these. Thank you. Thanks for your patience, Scott. Have a great night. Thank you. Love you me. too. Thanks. story with this song if you're if you're me you know the story if you're not me you don't know this story all right I'm trying to get us I, I don't know I guess I'm gonna go to the store I don't know what to do yet <clears throat> when we were kids living on Clark Street Maplewood over in the town <coughs> townhouses on Clark Street in Maplewood Somebody go. Somebody go. You should go first. Um, living on Clark Street, we had. I had this record player. And we were deciding to. I don't know why we were deciding we we're gonna sing, song, sing along with songs into the tape recorder. You go, and, old oh man, he's out there running. Maybe I'll go outside and run too. Now the sun is peeking out. Well, I bet that heat and humidity is going to build back up. But um, we were singing along with the song and taping in a tape recorder. Nobody wanted to sing in 
front of anybody else. So this was the thing. Okay, we'll let you go in the room. We'll go somewhere else. You sing it into the tape recorder. Then we come back and we'll, everybody will listen to it. And well, I guess laugh. I don't know. So Todd was going to do this song, the, the Night Chicago Died, Paper Lace, The Night Chicago Died. He goes in the room. And, you know, we're doing whatever, and he comes back, and he's like, okay, I'm done, whatever. We go back and listen to the thing. He never, he never did it. <laughs> he's just like, he never recorded. And I'm like, why didn't you record it? I don't know the answer why. He just, maybe he was embarrassed. But we, everybody else, I, I did. I did it. I think I did. Cold as ice. Gold is ice. Gold is ice. I know. Cold as ice. It was cold as ice. Cold as ice. I know. Cold as cold as ice. All right. Um, that's gonna be it for the show. I'll tell you tomorrow. What I did for running, if I went outside, if I went into the gym, uh, and what I got at the store, and all that stuff. I'll tell you that tomorrow on tomorrow's show. Thanks for listening. Keep your feet in the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Don't forget to jive home safe. Bye, everybody.